Um, yeah, guys, 7 o'clock Tuesday night, NIT Final Four. NIT has been good. 163 and a half being the total, minus two in the hook. That's Indiana State, the Sycamores, as the short, quote-unquote, home favorite. I say that because, guys, uh, the NIT Final Four is now in Indianapolis, Hinkle Fieldhouse, home of the Butler Bulldogs, by the way, Indiana's basketball cathedral, if you will. I, I, I'm getting into this because it's just an hour drive from Indiana State's campus. And I actually did go through, did the uh, whole Google Maps thing. It's actually a 22-hour drive from Salt Lake City. So uh, I'm going to guess there's going to be a lot more Indiana State fans there. And at this point in the NIT tournament, I don't think that you know motivation is a huge part of the handicap. It can be early in the NIT tournament, which uh, we used to, to some success. But at this point, I think both teams motivated to be there. You want the trophy in the trophy case at this point in the season. But I just think Indiana overall, yeah, put that in our back pocket in terms of like the atmosphere. But this is the number one field goal percentage team, shooting team in the country, guys. This is a really good team that won the Missouri Valley regular season, 31-6 and six on the year. They lost to Drake in the tournament championship game and were left out of the NCAA tournament. That's why they find themselves here in the NIT. They played well in this tournament, obviously making it to the Final Four. Up against the Utes here, who have made it themselves, you got to give them credit. But a team that was under 500 in – Pac-12 play and a team that was just five of 10 from the free throw line their last time out. I mean, compare that to Indiana State, 20 of 27 in their last game. They get to the line more. They hit their free throws at an 80% clip. That's one of the best in the country. Utah, just 65% from the charity stripe. Overall, I think we get the better shooting team, the better offensive team, the better team overall and laying this number with a team shooting over 80% from the foul line if it is a foul fest we have that on our side as well so indiana state minus the two in the hook that's what i like in the first game up for the nit final four so when it comes to home i mean i understand it's an hour away so the sycamores will have the crowd but it's not their home floor is that an issue you see what I'm saying? I mean, they've been they've been a dominant home team this year. Are we grading this in our mind as a home game for Indiana State? Is a is this a uh, did you give them a point, two points? I mean, how how much of a home court edge did you did you give them here? And, and does it matter that they're not actually at home? Well, we know that college basketball has been a huge home road dichotomy, Teddy, for the last couple of years for sure. In my opinion, it's like probably two points maybe even three points, not a full home game, but I do think there's something to that. I mean, this this team is playing a big game in the NIT Final Four. They're going for the championship here. From everything I've read, you know, they're excited. The program's ready to rock, and it's just a far trip. I mean, how many Utes fans are going to be, you know, in the stands? Probably not many for the NIT game, but, hey, they're going to be motivated as well. So I, I don't put too much into it. Yes, it's something to have on our side, Teddy, I think it helps, but overall, I think Indiana State's the better team here, the better shooting team for sure. So uh, that's the main part of the handicap. But yeah, a couple points for for the Sycamores uh, playing an hour away from from campus.